easiest schedule. Uh, the you know the Browns still have uh, Baltimore and and uh, Pittsburgh they have to play, but the rest of it looks pretty beatable. Uh, the opponent's winning percentage uh, f- for the Raiders four forty four, the Browns are at four forty five, Ravens four sixty one, uh, Dolphins at four seventy seven, Titans at five oh eight, and the Colts at five twenty four. And every week that uh, they play the games, uh, those numbers will change because. Uh, uh, teams play each other within the same division. They play head-to-head and all that. But you look at who the Browns have, and there's certainly some winnable games there. Well, and, and the the winning, you know, the opposing winning percentage is obviously inflated, or shall we say, deflated, by the fact that the Browns still have the one-win Jaguars and the winless Jets left. So that's where you're, you know, predominantly where your terrible record is coming in. Uh, but you know, they're six and three, and they should expect to win the Eagles game, the Jaguars game, the Giants game, and the Jets game. Uh, That gets you to your magic number of 10 wins. And that's not even uh, accounting for a potential upset uh, of the of of any other opponent. So well and uh, also what 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 you don't want to overlook is by the time they play Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh may, may decide to rest some people, even if they're going for a perfect season. Uh, or whatever, or but if they feel they have home court, home field advantage, no matter what, you may see somebody other than uh, Ben Roethlisberger uh, quarterbacking against the Browns. Uh, good point. Two one 